Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. And this is a really special video. <laughs> it's been such a long time coming, but the, the honeybee deck that I've been talking about every once in a while for the past, like, I think four or five years, um, finally is launching on Kickstarter. It's called the Bee Sisterhood Oracle, and it's all about honeybee medicine. This is such a, a special project in so many ways, and it's so aligned with the energy of right now. If you haven't heard the backstory, I'm going to put a link in the description below um, it's, that, where you can read all about that. But to sum it up in just a few words, this um, this deck is a, a labor of love that was created by a group of amazing women, many of them beekeepers, and not just any beekeepers, but spiritually led beekeepers, okay? Those who are really working with bee spirit and working with the bees themselves to understand nature and spirit at a, at a deeper level in partnership with nature and all of creation. This here is a prototype of the deck. And right now um, we've got the Kickstarter just launched yesterday and we're already at like 25% of our goal, which I feel is like is amazing a testament to the power of this deck. Um, there are 48 cards and they each have um, something to do with an aspect of bees and beekeeping and bee medicine. Um, these are created by a couple of dozen artists who just volunteered their gifts and their time to uh, create this incredible deck. There's all sorts of different art styles, but they meld so beautifully. And um, everything about this deck was created um, by volunteers. And the concept behind the deck is that it is uh, the sales from the proceeds are going to be used to help to support women in need. The whole process of creating this deck was really guided by the bees themselves. And um, I, I could tell you so many stories about that, but I think actually the deck really speaks for itself. So I want to show you just the, the trailer video for this, this deck. Then I'm going to come back and explain why bees are so important right now as a spirit animal. And then I'll do a quick reading, probably a three card reading from the deck, just to support all of us at this time. Welcome to the Hive of the Bee Sisterhood Oracle. This enchanting new Oracle deck is a collaboration of over two dozen women artists and creatrixes who volunteered their time and talent for this mission-driven project. The Bee Sisterhood Oracle deck beautifully blends rustic and refined artistic styles to create a one-of-a-kind spiritual tool. Each card provides practical facts on the lives of the bees as well as intuitive guidance. But the Bee Sisterhood Oracle is more than just a deck of cards. It was created with a mission and the profits will fund direct financial support to women facing hardship. The Sisterhood believes in the power of supporting one another. By purchasing this deck, you help to cultivate an energizing community where women lift each other up. The cards cover concepts like honeybee society, transformation, abundance, and more. You can apply these themes to your own personal journeys. We invite you to support our work at different pledge levels with special rewards like digital downloads, guided meditations, personalized readings, and access to online community events. Will you join the Hive and help bring this inspiring vision to life? Support this project. Reserve your deck today. To reserve a deck, then I have put the link to the Kickstarter in the description box. But let's talk a little bit about B Spirit, right? And why B Spirit is coming forward so strongly at this time. Um, this is a, an incredible time of transformation for the planet, for humanity. We all know this. And there are a couple of spirit animals that are really coming forward very strongly right now. One is Mr. Lion here, okay? And he really symbolizes agency, right? Um, individuality, the individual self coming into alignment with spirit, right? And, and the ability to really step into your eye, right? He's about personal responsibility and devotion and service in a way of like bringing your own gifts in your own voice, right? Which is so, so important right now but um 
the B is the other one that's coming forward uh, really strongly. And, and the B is this perfect, perfect balance to lion, okay? Because there are so many lessons that B has to teach us about what it means to work in harmony together as a collective, okay? So when, when enough people have... Um, stepped into their eye, their individuality, right? Um, their own higher self and have really aligned with that. Then we're able to step into this beautiful collective space of creation, okay? Now, the negative side of B, of course, is the hive mind, right? Where we are, we're all kind of um, mindless little drones or, or worker bees, right? Working for, um, you know, something that's really wanting to control us or farm us, right? And some of the things that have been happening with bees in the past few years um, really relate to that, right? We all know about the decline of honeybees. I feel like because there's, they're, they're just kind of reflecting what can happen, right? When we move into that hive mind, when bees are farmed and, and, and used in ways that are not sustainable and not really respectful of the, 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 the real life cycle, the needs of the bees, um, you know, that's what happens. We go into decline. And this is something that we have to, as a collective right now, or as individual humans be very, very aware of is that there is a, um, a tendency or a force that's wanting to draw us into that mindless kind of hive mind, um, you know, do as you're told uh, uh, kind of mentality. Um, but the positive side of the bee is what we're really working with here, working with, with, with this deck. And that is where we're working as a collective, right? And in a very intuitive way, you've probably already felt some of this happening yourself where, where there are um, streams of consciousness on this planet right now that we're attuned to and that we are starting, a lot of us, we're starting to see movements um, showing up that are geared towards um, a more abundance and a more natural way of living and a more harmonious way of living. Okay, so B stands for that. Um, B, the B spirit animal stands for harmony, right? Um, amongst all the peoples of the world, being able to work together um, in, in ways that create abundance and sweetness and flow. And also it, uh, the, the B spirit animal really simply is mass movements to me and that's something that's really starting to come forward right now so this um i'm, I'm going to end this video with a three card reading and this is for those people who who feel oh, this connection with abundance this connection with bringing um more sweetness and joy and harmony into the world and especially if you feel drawn towards creating collectives or if there's a movement inside of you whether it's a movement to create more beauty and joy or if you're feeling called as a leader in, in these days ahead okay so the first card is symbolizing um what's brought us to this point okay this is mating flight right so if you are a movement maker if you are a creative visionary right um the the past couple of decades and especially the past few years have given us a lot right it's been a real time of pollination and um the mating flight is interesting because it's 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 very intense it's very passionate it also is painful and there's a sacrifice involved right this is the drone and when um when the drone mates with the queen then um he actually dies in the process right so so whatever you've gone through in the past few years, whatever dark nights of the soul you've been through, um, it's not in vain, right? There's a real purpose behind it. And those periods of darkness that we have, right? Those are what fertilize our creative souls in order to rise up like a phoenix, right? And and create something beautiful out of the darkness, right? Um, so this the sacrifice that we all go through, um, but it's for the purpose of expansion and you know the ultimate evolution and creation 
um, of, of, of beauty, right? And so we, let's see all these um, beautiful flowers and flowering that's happening right here. Okay, so these are the energies that are bringing us here, the coming together of masculine and feminine as well. Um, those energies, when we balance those, when we harmonize those within ourselves, right? You know, coming back to that lion energy, that's part of, you know, finding our eye, finding our sovereignty, finding our individuality. And it feels like there's a, a enough people right now, a, a, a critical mass of people that have attained this sense of wholeness within themselves that we're ready to move forward and really create something amazing. Um, okay, so this next card is going to be the energies of right now, and that is the now of whenever you are hearing this message. Um, this is, okay, the, the card coming up is Smoker, all right? Interesting card to come up. It's what the beekeeper uses to sedate the bees, right, so that the honey can be extracted or so that the beekeeper can work with the bees to assist the hive, right? Um, and so there's this element of kind of um, sedation, illusion, or it could be a period of going within. It could be um, a time where you may feel like you were lost in a fog. Just know that that's okay. Before, as a collective, we realize exactly what we need to do, right, in order to bring forth a society that is free and abundant for everyone. There may be a period of um, uh, confusion, or a period where it feels like we can't see through the veil or we feel sleepy or like it's hard to get the energy up, okay? So the encouragement here is to step back, take the bigger picture and take the role of the beekeeper, right? So that you can see what's actually happening and um, that it, it's also a period of time where it may be, there may be a little bit of time right here that we can work and go in and do what we need to do, right? Without fear, right? Because things may start getting riled up in a little bit um, where it may become a little bit harder, but this is a time right now that we can start to extract some of the sweet right that is the product of um you know the the months that have come before and um also a time that we can start to store up things for the future right looking at the honey in the jar okay and so the final card is going to represent outcome of um this whole process and okay the, the card is skep okay and this a uh, skep is is an ancient um, way of keeping bees. The modern beehive is actually a box, right? <laughs> and it's um, it's very efficient, right? It's it's designed to maximize productivity, but it doesn't necessarily align completely with the way that the bees would actually, uh, you know, prefer to live, right? And so a scalp represents kind of moving into a more natural way of life, right? And look at, there's all these different types of skeps. There's a room for some creativity here um, in what we create. And a skep is something that was, you know, created by beekeepers out of natural materials. I'm seeing a, a real kind of all these beautiful muted colors. It's not exciting. It's not you know, brilliant flashing neon lights, right? Um, there's no sharp corners. So in some ways, it represents a a return to a quieter way of life. Um, maybe a way of life that's not so convenient, right? Um, there's there's so much in the modern lifestyle that's about convenience, but when you add it all together, there's so much anxiety around it as well. Okay, so this is about returning to a way of life that's more attuned to the natural rhythms, to the natural um, ways of being on earth, right? But maybe not so connected with massive drive towards productivity, right? It's a little bit more quiet and um, a lot more just peaceful, right? Okay, so I feel like that is part of what we're working at 
on right now. There's so many beautiful souls that I've been in, con in contact with in the past few months that oh, we all have this collective vision. And I'm, I'm noticing it. I'm noticing it in the New Age community, in the Christian community. And it doesn't really matter what race you are, what religion you are. There's this collective vision of a more harmonious life, a life that is slower, that is um, more attuned to family and joy and, and connectiveness, right? And I feel like that's the vision that we're all working towards. Um, there's going to be a lot of confusion around the way, right? Um, I think a lot of us feel like, okay, we're the smokescreen right now, but just know that, the, you know, we're creating this vision and, um, and um, B is one of these uh, spirit guides that can help us get there. So again, if you feel drawn to this deck, it's an, just an incredible deck. Um, do check out that Kickstarter. And one little secret, there's several tiers of giving that you can choose. And um, the, the, the middle one is the one with the, the deck and the most basic. But if you go up one or two steps, uh, levels from that, um, there's a, a really, really special perk that's being offered um, at the queen bee level and above and that is some live events that are going to be held um, and that you'll get the chance to interact personally um, from wherever in the world you are with the, the bee sisters right these are women who are fully steeped in bee spirituality and i've been hanging with these women long enough to know that this is going to be a spectacular experience you're not going to want to miss it so look at that queen bee level and above and if you can you know if it's within your budget totally go for that you are not going to be disappointed okay so thank you all so much for, for for watching me, for supporting this channel. If you feel even a little bit as excited as I do about um, this deck, please do like and share because I feel like the bees have so much to say to humanity to support us through the time. It's, it's just insane. So um, do check it out and remember you were born to be free.